You've completed editing the video for your latest masterpiece. you found the perfect song for the background, but it's too long. Well, luckily Premiere Pro has you covered. The background music for your videos is important. It can really help boost production value, create a specific mood, and help retain your audience's attention. However, finding the perfect piece of music for your video is tough enough, but then the likelihood of it being the exact right length for you is, well, low. It'll either be too long or too short. Well, if you edit in Premiere Pro, fear not, as it has automation which can help you lengthen or shorten a piece of music to meet your needs. Let's take a look. Okay, so here is a YouTube Shorts video, which I've been working on for a little while. And as you can see, the video length itself is around a minute and 15 seconds. Now I have found what I think is the perfect piece of music for this project. However, the problem is that it is two minutes and 30 seconds long. And here is how I can use Adobe's Remix tool to shorten that piece of music and maintain its integrity. So firstly, I'm gonna bring the piece of music into my timeline. I place it on its own audio track, audio track three in this case, and as you can see, it is way too long for the video. So now I'm going to go and select the Remix tool. This lives in the same menu as Ripple Edit. If I go up to Ripple Edit and hold down my mouse button, you can see it opens up a new menu. And at the bottom here is Remix tool. I'm going to select that. Now it is selected. If I go over to my project timeline, you can see that the little Remix tool emblem is next to the cursor. That way I know it is selected. However, you can see it is crossed out with a red line, meaning that I'm not over an editable music track. Now all I need to do is click at the end of the piece of music which I want to edit, hold down the mouse button and drag it in to where I actually want it to finish. If I release, you can see the Premiere has shortened the piece of music. If I zoom in a bit, you might actually see that it hasn't ended exactly where I selected. And Premiere Pro isn't a miracle worker. It can only edit a piece of music in a certain way and make it stay in time and actually make it make sense. So it may actually extend beyond where you wanted it to. And in this case, it's just a situation of playing with that piece of music, bring it in a bit more and see if you can get it exactly as you want it to. So for instance, this example, it is over where I want it. So if I grab it again with the remix tool and maybe drag it back to about here and let go, you can see then that it has actually altered the piece of music once more. And this works perfectly because if we look closely, what it's actually doing is going to fade the piece of music out as I finish up the video. The part at the end here, if I zoom in, really is just silent. So I can cut this out. Let's take a closer look at what Premiere has actually done to achieve this edit. If you look closely on the audio track, such as here, you'll see these squiggly lines where Premiere has cut out a piece of music and then joined the remaining bits back together. And it will have done that in an intelligent way to make sure that the beat of the music is retained and that it actually hangs together. Let's take a listen to what. So for instance, if I go just before where this piece of music has been cut and solo this channel, you should be able to hear exactly how that cut has been made. Let's listen to that one more time. I think unless you actually knew this piece of music, you wouldn't know that edits have been made at all. It's brilliant. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, you can also use Remix Tool to lengthen a piece of music. However, it doesn't work quite as well as shortening one. Let me demonstrate. Here again, I've placed the original piece of music back on the timeline of the video we were looking at previously. I'm going to make sure I have the Remix Tool selected, go to the end of the track, and actually in this case, drag it out to around the three minute mark, say here. Once I let go, you can see that Adobe Premiere Pro has lengthened it. Once again, Premiere has added the squiggly lines, but in this case, where it's actually repeated pieces of music. Let's zoom in a bit and see actually if you can notice that edit. So if I select here, for instance, before this squiggly line and hit play, <laughs> Again, you wouldn't know that actually been edited at all. The one thing I would say though, is when you're using Premiere to extend a piece of music, there will be repetition. At the end of the day, this system can't actually write and extend the piece of music naturally. It's going to use what it's got and repeat it. So as you can see in this example here, there is definitely repetition at this point and at this point. And because of this, I think this tool is useful if you're going to extend a track slightly, maybe between 10 and 20 seconds. However, any more than that, I think actually what you're better doing is finding another song and putting that in as a second piece of content and then maybe using this tool to make sure it fills the gap you need. Anyway, a super useful tool and one which can really save you a lot of time and heartache trying to get that music perfect for your video. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. This is the first video in a series I'm going to create with tips and tricks for Premiere Pro, Lightroom, Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. If it was useful to you, please consider subscribing so you can see my future content. And if you enjoyed it, please like this video. And until next time, have a great day.